somebody asked me the question if I could do a tutorial on how to create a tune character okay a tutorial is gonna take time and I'm just gonna mention what you need to have to create any kind of tune character that you want and you can go to this place which which is the YouTube channel for Tokomotion and you're gonna find this pack right here which is uh, kids and teens stylized kids and teens and if you open up this um, this page right here let me show you is this one right here so I'm gonna run the animation real quick showing you that you start off with uh, character creator and then you apply the slider to the, the avatar that you have and it's going to modify the mesh and it's going to make it look more tunish with that you can create your own kits um, they don't have to look tunish they can look like real kits which I actually did that in the past and I didn't do it in CC3 I did it in, I did it in CC2 so it can be done you can create real kits per se and you can create tunish kits if you want to okay so if you apply the morphs from that package you can see that it's going to modify the character now one of the things and i'm going to show you that in a second i'm just going to keep on running the animation a little bit more uh, let's go forward they look really nice um his sliders make all these nice looking uh, tunish characters okay I'm gonna stop that and I'm gonna show you what I created in the past I'm gonna go right here I created these avatars with the sliders that modify the eyes and the ears uh, to make it look like a demon kind okay this is from the movie the avatar um, you do it in CC3 in this case I used CC3 but you can do it in CC2 too if you know how to do it you need to modify the eyeball of the avatar you need to modify the eyelids and you need to modify the ears and make sure you get that pointing ear if you don't have the morph because there's morphs for the ears that make the ears look more like a demon type uh, if you don't have those morphs then you need to play around with uh, sliders until you get that kind of ear that you're looking for making sure that the mesh is not gonna it's not gonna break okay I'm gonna show you another one let me see is this one right here no this one right here you see this avatar I created this avatar with the toco motion sliders uh, you can see it's got some tunish features and I think I use like uh, two or three different kinds of sliders to get that kind of look in that avatar which I think is a really nice um, looking avatar per se with the toco motion sliders so I use like three different kinds of sliders <laughs> all right so let me show you uh, okay this is uh, this is the sliders for that tune the tune characters and you create your own kids tunish kids but you can create also adults like this one right here that look kind of tunish as well okay you see the body is tunish the the kind of face is tunish and you can also use those sliders to create um, avatars regular avatars that have different kind of uh, physical features in the face and the body uh, which are really nice I share some of them already you can find them in my channel mm, let me see and we're gonna go now open up CC3 which I already have it open and let me go scroll down we are on the right panel on the morph section which is this icon right here I'm gonna say that third one auto from the left to right but since CC3 changes it may have more icons uh, 
I have these icons. Uh, this is a CC3 3.2, I think, but I think 3.3 changes. Anyways, just go to the morph section and I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to show you these folders, okay? These are the Toco Motion folders. Now I'm going to I'm gonna select this one because this is the kits and kits and tins uh, from the sliders that he sells. And if I apply that, look at the what's gonna happen to the mesh of the original avatar. It's, it's changing now. One of the things that happens, and let me do a close up right here. You see the eyes? The eyes get back. That's one of the problems that you find. So how can you fix that? Well, you actually have to go to the eyes and you have to move the eyes forward until they fill the socket, the eye socket. Another thing is that that happened in CC2. I don't know in CC3 it happens or not. I, I don't think it does. Let me go back right here. Okay. In CC3, it appears that the eyelashes right here the eyelashes they are not lost because in CC2 you actually lose the eyelashes and that's kind of uh, sad because you have a kid without eyelashes and that doesn't look good as it is right now this one doesn't have too much eyelash eyelashes left okay but then you have to move like I said you have to move the eyeball you have to move it to the front and feel the socket and then another thing you need to check is that you have to close the eyes to make sure there's no breakage okay because right here is like sort of like a breakage now let me let me show you if i if i put other kind of slides uh, sliders let me go to the animal one let's say i apply that okay i know that you can't see what's happening right now it's like a frog type if you apply the frog all the way <laughs> well in this case there's no breakage okay but it looks kind of kind of weird okay that that's kind of like a tonish character already all right it doesn't look really good i don't like it but uh, you know you can put it in a in a place that looks a little bit better but you create your own tonish characters this way okay just with the sliders from toko motion and you just modify the the characters so that um it doesn't look that bad like the arms they look very long if you want to make them short just pull, pull up okay you want to make the hands a little bit bigger just select the hands and make them a little bit bigger like that okay now you see the legs they don't look so well they look terrible so that because this is a frog okay and because it has another slide uh, slider I'm sorry let me go back to the package I have I'm gonna get rid of that <laughs> I got rid of that and you see it's like a grown-up and if you had all the packages you can also apply those like if I apply this for the pirate I got it for free in YouTube one of the YouTube channels and if you see this breakage I'm talking about the mesh is broken and you do not want to have that definitely so you want to take care of that by not putting too much of the slider and get something that you really like and you can be satisfied if you want to make the the avatar a little bit shorter then in the morph you're going to find uh, especially if you go to the body I think it's the body you're going to find one that's to increase or decrease the height of the avatar and you just need to look for it. You see, I have other morphs, which are sliders that you can get at the marketplace in Realution. You get the Toko Motion package for the kits and tins in Realution, and you get the ones also for the the animal and the ones for kids at the, the marketplace in Realution. So just go ahead and go to the marketplace in Realution. And if you are interested in buying some of the morph packages, go ahead and, and I think it's worth it. And let me tell you, for the ones for the kids, I'm not really so happy. I thought it was going to be a little bit different. Okay. But look, if I apply that, like, to make it like a child, just make sure there's no breakage in uh, in the mesh of the avatar. Okay. 
but you don't have to do that if you want to make it like a like a smaller version of this you just go and scroll down until you find the one that's uh, I think it's a full body morph or something like that and once you find it you just apply it in the avatar and the avatar is gonna shrink it's gonna get smaller okay anyways uh, I'm not gonna go look for that right now because it's gonna take some time but I just want to show you this is pretty much the way you can do any kind of tunish characters okay just get the Toko Mo Motion package and go back to Toko Motion. It's right here. There it is. It's Toko Motion and uh, it's called Studio Toko Motion. Just go to Studio Toko Motion. If you put Toko Motion, uh, you're going to get his uh, site in YouTube. Okay. Let's put it right here Toko Motion. You see, you, you have all these uh, really nice avatars that you can create with sliders. So just go ahead and, and you click on on the name of that. It's going to take you directly to his site. I'm sorry, I didn't do that correctly. Right here. Okay, it takes you directly to his site. You can go visit the marketplace and you can buy the sliders. And that's pretty much everything I can say to you. I'm not going to create any tomb characters because this is very self-explanatory and just spending time showing you how the sliders work it will be kind of like a waste of time per se because you can actually do it if you get the sliders you can create your own tomb characters I hope this is helpful for you is there any other way you can create any tomb characters mm. yes you can without having the sliders but you won't have the same kind of morphs that's the only thing okay they're not going to look the same because I created that when I didn't have the sliders and I didn't get the same result okay they they look nice but not as nice as the ones with the sliders so I would recommend for you to get the packages from Tokomotion thank you for watching